Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast I want to show you two tips about using NetBeans and these two tips involve features that I'm pretty sure very very few people know about and the reason is that these features are enabled via drag and drop and drag and drop oriented features are really difficult to discover. There are no menu items there's very little help topics about this, there's very little information um, and there's really no way except by trial and error and accident to discover that these features actually exist. I'll show you what I mean. The first one is relevant when you're using HTML files whether on the desktop or um, on the web or wherever and you have a palette as always and that means IDE. Now if you want to reuse a set of tags in your HTML page on multiple different other pages, it would be cool if you could add a new item to this palette. And in fact, you can do that. You can drag from the HTML file, so that's what I'm doing, assuming I want to reuse my header in other pages, and I can drop those tags that I'm dragging into the palette, and then I see um, this dialog pop up. So I'll say header cool header and I can select an icon and somewhere I have icons here's an icon and a 32 by 32 icon here it is and um, here is the content so I can still modify it in some ways maybe I want to um, add some um, more content here and once I've done so I say add to palette and there is my header so if I were to not have a header I could now drag this item into the HTML file drop it and there is my header as you can imagine this is very difficult to discover there are no menu items or toolbar buttons or anything for this you just have to know it the other one that is very similar to this is when you're creating a Java SE application and here I have a JFrame as you can see in my source code and in the JFrame I have a J table. Now take a look at this. I have here my database connection and here are tables. Uh, I drag a table, so the customer table, and I drop it into my J table. And after a moment, let's run the application, run the application, and there you see is my data. Now what happened is, when I dragged and dropped, if I look in my source code, what's been added is a persistence XML file, what's been added is my customer Java file generated when I dropped, so this is a complete entity class and in addition the Eclipse link jars were added and the Derby client jar was added and the beans binding jar was added as well. So if we now look in our source code you will see this being used in the generated code. So there you go. So if you want to very quickly um, put some data into a table, this is how you can do it. Just drag and drop from the services window into your JTable. And if you want to add items to the HTML palette, this is also how you do it. You drag and drop from the HTML file into the palette. That's it. Two very smart and small tips and very powerful to be used in NetBeans IDE. Not only NetBeans IDE 7.2, this has been, both of these have been in the IDE for quite some releases already. That's it. Enjoy NetBeans.